MapInfo Pro allows you to easily create themed maps through an intuitive user interface. This tutorial will help you to better understand the basics of thematic mapping. We will show you the various kinds of thematic maps, how to create a themed map, and how to modify the map. Thematic mapping is the use of styles to visually display information about the map's underlying data. Themes can represent your data with different colours, fill patterns, symbols, bar or pie charts, and grids. Ranged themes allow numeric data to be classified using various statistical methods, for example to show high values in dark colours and low values in lighter colours. Individual value themes allow classified data, such as land use descriptions, to be styled using categorised values in the data. Bar and pie chart themes allow you to visualise more than one variable per record on the map, which can help when doing comparison analysis. These types of theme can be very helpful for data such as demographics. Graduated symbol themes vary the size of a symbol, with larger values generating larger symbols. Dot density maps use dots to represent the data value associated with a region. The larger the number of dots within the region, the higher the value, such as population. There are many kinds of thematic maps, but the process for creating each type of map is the same. First, open up the thematic map tool by selecting Add Theme from the content group under the Map tab. Next, choose the preferred theme type that suits your data and analysis needs. Next, select the table and data field you want to build upon. Lastly, you can customise your ranges, styles and legend before processing. Once you're satisfied with your selection, click OK. Now you should have your new thematic map visible on your workspace. From here, you can modify your thematic map with our new interactive theme tab located within the layer tools. This new capability allows you to dynamically alter the data you're using and the way your thematic map looks. Additionally, ranged themes now appear as separate layers within a layer group, which means that you can turn on and off specific ranges within the thematic map. The colour palettes allow you to quickly and easily modify the way your thematic map appears. Simply click on the colour palettes drop down and then select from the various pre-filled palette options. You can also choose from sequential or divergent colour groupings. You can also quickly change the field that is being used in your thematic by selecting the field drop down under the ranged star group. This will allow you to completely change the way you are looking at your dataset on the fly. Furthermore, you can also change the number of ranges displayed and the way the calculation is rounded. Just as you did with data fields before, simply use the appropriate drop downs from the range style group to make your changes. As mentioned earlier, MapInfo Pro now displays ranged theme maps with separate layers for every range. This allows you to toggle on and off individual ranges for easier analysis and map display capabilities. So, if you have a theme with five ranges, but only want the top three displayed, simply unselect the bottom two ranges from the layer control. MapInfo Pro also has an interactive legend tool. This legend tool allows you to modify the contents of your legend window, such as the title and individual labels. To do this, first click on the legend to highlight it. Then select Modify Legend from the Content Group under the Legend tab. From here, you can modify the content as needed. Click OK to complete the change. To learn more about these features or any other MapInfo Pro feature, please utilise the integrated help tutorial.